Hello, Stromar designers. Welcome back to our EPA swim training series. We've gone through all the basic tutorials. We're going through the sample projects right now. And uh, we're on to sample project five. We're going to look at pump control rules. So let's open this one up here. And so we got a pump control model here. And you can see the network that's set up. We have the regular point. So this is a little more detailed than something uh, we have been doing prior. Let's read what they have to say on this project. I'm going to make this screen a little smaller here uh, just so I can read it. Okay. So pump control model. This example illustrates Swim 5's rules, rule based control feature for simulating real time control. The data file applies to a combined sewer system with a diversion pump installed to help prevent local overflows. The scenario model contains only dry weather flow and illustrates the use of DF, DWF time of day patterns to have DWF uh, ver vary diurnally. We suggest trying the following. Okay, so we're going to follow their steps here. After opening the file, know how the pump station is modeled with a storage node and a type 4 pump. So let's see, here's the storage unit here and a type 4 pump. Bring up the controls editor to view the rules that control the on off status of the pump. Okay, so now we need to find the controls editor here. Okay, so I went to links pumps here and we can see the initial status is on. So it says to view the rules that control the on off status of the pump so that you can select on and off here. We have the inlet outlet and then the different startup depths over there. Also view the hourly DWF time patterns that are assigned to each node that re receives DWF. The baseline DWF was set to 1.0 for those for these nodes. So the pattern multipliers are the actual flows in the specific example. So if I try to find uh, the DWF, well, I've got different, uh, all the different pipes here, or all the different conduits uh, seen here. If we go to editor there, we can see their information there. So it says run the model for a 24 hour simulation. So let's make sure that the, the run situation is set up properly. I, it should be. Okay, so the run was done. Create a time series plot of water depth at the storage node and flow in the pump on the same graph. See if the plot reflects the desired control rules. Okay. So we wanna go to report. There's a summary report. Uh, we want to create a plot time series. Okay, so we've got the the depth there, but what we want is of water depth and the flow of the pump. So I want to add the pump here. Uh, let's see. It was under links, pumps, pump one. Yeah, pump one. And I want the flow. Okay, so I got both of those. There, so we have the graph here showing create a time series plot of water depth at the storage node and the flow in the pump on the same graph. See if the plot reflects the desired control rules. Um, looks like it, they mirror each other pretty closely there. Then create a scatter plot of pump flow versus water depth in the storage node and note how this plot is faithful to control rules and the pump's operating curve. So what was the difference there? We had a time series, then we want a scatter plot. So let's see if I can create a scatter plot here. Scatter. Uh, we wanna add the pump and then we want, let's select a node. Oh, that's a conduit. Okay. Okay, that's node storage unit. Nodes. There we go. The storage unit. We got depth versus flow there. Now here's the scatter plot, and uh, they seem to work pretty closely um, together here, as indicated. So. That's creating this pump control model here. 
Let me know if you have any questions. We're going to continue to run through all the sample projects uh, in EPA Swim. We have the entire series of videos. You can find that in the description down below, an entire playlist of all the EPA Swim videos we've done. We've done, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.